Happy Wednesday, Eagles Nation. Welcome to today's episode of the Weekly Chirp. Stephen Hellman here, no Tom Oresco. Um, I'm back in LA now, and I apologize for the lack of videos over the Christmas holiday, but I'm sure you were busy. I was really busy as well, seeing everyone from home and whatnot, and just, you know, just working on a lot of stuff. So, really apologize for that, but now that the season's over, I definitely want to get out a video to you guys once a week. Tom will be back with me shortly to help me out, so that will be a huge help for me. And we want to talk Eagles because, you know, it was a tough year, but you know what? Saw a lot of good things. Carson Wentz playing the whole year. 7-9. and nine. You know, we started off 3-0, no, so the 7-9 and nine is a little disappointing. But, you know what? All things considered, Wentz looked good. He made it through the whole season. And, you know, some, some things looked good. Some things not so much. And, you know, we have problems that need to be addressed in free agency in the draft. But it's obvious problems. And I think that's what's going to help us moving forward. We have a lot of needs. And I think some of them will be addressed in the draft and free agency, but not all of them. Either way, um, you know, first off, before I dive into anything, I want to say on um, the two people that won our fantasy leagues, um, Tom and I both hosted a fantasy league. Um, so uh, the two people that won, we will be getting your jerseys shortly. Um, we're working on that, um, getting those jerseys in. I think we're just going to have them sent directly to you, so we'll be getting your addresses soon. But, uh, yeah, we'll we're taking care of that. Those jerseys will go out. But... Free agency in the draft. Um, I definitely think, you know, the needs are, we need playmakers on offense. That's regardless. And whether you get them in the draft or if you get them in free agency, I guess it doesn't really matter, but you need to get playmakers. You need to get some skills players around Wentz. You saw what he, you see what he's capable of, and he's playing with absolute garbage around him. So I think if you can get him some guys, you know, even just some upgrades a little bit will make a huge impact. Me personally, I think the biggest need this offseason is wide receiver. We need wide receivers, that's the most, in my opinion. Um, offensive line could use some more. Run, uh, cornerbacks and running backs. I think wide receiver comes first, then offensive, then offensive line, then running back and cornerback. Now, I will say this. If a talent like Dalvin Cook is available at 14, you get him because you do need a running back. But I think that's not, to me personally, that's not the biggest need. However, if a player like that is there, don't pass that one. I personally, I'm I'm really about Corey Davis. I'm really about offensive line. But you know, I've been saying earlier that you know I was really big on offensive line. And I still am, but I think it's really gonna. I think free agency, which comes before the draft, is going to dictate what the Eagles do in the draft. Which obviously makes sense, but it's hard for me to sit here. It's hard for anyone to sit here and speculate what the Eagles should do in the draft before free agency because they're all needs are going to change you know we might make some trades we might stop, bring some new people in some guys are going to be gone thank god but you know there's going to be a few changes with this team but i do think that in this offseason in particular i think you have to get wide receivers at least you have to fix wide receivers you probably could improve a little bit along the o-line somewhere whether they're going to move on from jason kelsey or jason peters you need a left guard um, Lane Johnson's going to slide the left if Peters goes, so you'll need a right tackle. So besides Brandon Brooks and Lane Johnson, where you're not sure where he's going to play yet, you kind of have the left guard, left tackle, left guard, and center right now are still kind of still kind of up in the air. So you have to figure that out. Um, running backs, you know, you don't can't really count on Matthews. I I foresee him being gone. You have Sproles for one more year. Smallwood looked okay at times. It probably isn't your every down back. So. There's a lot of question marks on this offense, and you got Wentz. You got your quarterback. Now get this guy some weapons so he can look good. I mean, the guy has made some great plays, but I think the, it's imperative that we get weapons around this offseason. You know, the defense, you know, struggled at times, and obviously we can use some help at corner, but maybe with Jalen Mills, you got at least a, a number two, low end number two, um, you know, or a, or a slot corner potentially with him. Um, so. You know, you were able to get some guys last year, but let's be real. Last year, we needed a lot of pieces. You know, we needed to get our franchise quarterback. We got him. You know, we we got some nice pieces in the draft as well, considering, you know, we kind of went all in for Wentz. Didn't have a second-round pick. We were able to get Sayamalu, who, you know, could could looks like he can be a starter for us next year, potentially. Um, but Ty definitely is a serviceable backup in the NFL right now, a tackle, maybe a starter. Wendell Smallwood definitely, you know, could be a change of – Pace back and Jalen Mills. You know, you had a bunch of guys there that, you know, all came in and contributed in some shape or form. And that's all you can really ask from those later round guys is that, you know, hopefully they, they work out for you. In this case, a lot of them did. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the Eagles can do in this draft. But I, I really do think free agency is going to dictate that. So, you know, my thing is, you know, get two, 
Get two veteran wide receivers at least. If you can only get one, then maybe in the draft you'll get Corey Davis. But I think you get some veteran pieces to add us. Um, my ideal situation, I'm just going to break it down real quick. If I'm Howie, this is what I would do real quick in about a minute here. Um, I'm trading Jason Peters. His value is at an all-time high right now. You can probably get a third or fourth form and you clear 10 mil on the cap. Then you use that money. Um, well, then you get rid of like guys like Kendricks, Barwin, um, Ryan Matthews, you know, guys that are just killing your cap. Um, Jason Kelsey as well, you know, put Sam Allo in there. You get rid of guys that are killing your cap and aren't really contributing. You can get other guys to contribute. You get rid of those guys, and then you're sitting at like 30, 40 million. You invest, you probably invest like 15, 16 million in two veteran wide receivers. Then you go in the draft. If Dalvin Cook is there at 14, you take Dalvin Cook. If Dalvin Cook is not there, I'm trading back, getting offensive tackle. Not a lot of good tackles in this draft. You can probably get a really, but you can still get the best one. That's the thing. People are like, oh, there's not that many good tackles. But if you get the best tackle in the draft, he's probably going to be a really good tackle. So you get the, if you trade back and get him, that's fine. But 14 and 15 of Corey Davis or Dalvin Cook are there, you get them. If not, trade back, get your tackle. Then use another pick, use your second round pick, get a corner because there's a bunch of good corners. There's like nine good ones, one will be there. Then in the third round, either get a wide receiver or or a running back, depending on which one you didn't get in the, well, depending on what happened in free agency in the first round. I probably would say running back, but you see how it goes. But that would be my ideal situation. Move Peters because his value is not going to get any higher than it is right now. And I think you could use that money elsewhere, and you could build this O line up slowly but surely, and get some chemistry, get a little younger in the offensive line, get a little, and get some veterans in the receiving core, which you need desperately. That's just my ideal situation. Obviously, things are gonna not play out that way because I am not the GM. But I think you know we're gonna see what happens in free agency before we can you know go all these things on the draft because people's stock is gonna rise, fall, just so the combine and all that stuff. So. I'm just looking forward because I think we have a really good team. We have a lot of good players at positions. We have a lot of good. We have some good offensive linemen. We have tight ends. We have we have some good defensive linemen. We have some good linebackers. We have two awesome safeties, but we have some other needs. So we have some really good players on this roster, and we can and we're going to draft on need. We still need. We still have a few holes at every position. So, but we have some studs at these positions as well. So that's what makes it fun. Thank you for joining me, guys. I will hopefully see you. I will see you next week for the weekly chirp. Maybe bird buzz this week. I'm not sure. Um, that might come a little later, but we'll you know we'll go over that anyway. But enjoy the playoffs this weekend. It's going to be a good wild card weekend, and have a great rest of your day. Um, fly Eagles, fly.